My doctor said that my body is going into fight or flight, which means if I were an animal, I'd be a threat to myself. And I am an animal. <laughs> my grief isn't beautiful. And my body betrays itself. And it makes me scared to feel anything too deeply. And I think that there might be something chronically, generationally wrong with me. And I don't know what the remedy for that is, or if it just lives inside the blood of everyone who had to love someone to make me. And I know that I'm lucky that my feet are warm and my nose is not stuffy and I am laying on these cool linen sheets that my mom got for me when I moved here. I know that I'm safe, I just spent every second trying to convince my body of it. And I feel like a stranger to my neighborhood. And my body feels like a stranger to itself. And I really think that the worst things that you can imagine have to happen. All of them. Just to remind the animal in your body of your ancestors and the muscle memory of survival. Because I think that I forgot how to survive. And I wonder if cave people fell in love. And if they know or they knew a singularly human ache of letting someone they love hurt them. And still loving <laughs> what happens to their hair when they take off their hat. Which is assuming they had hats. They probably didn't have hats. <laughs> but if they did, and if they let themselves feel beyond just survival, the modern indulgence of lost love. And I would hold their face in my hands, press my forehead against theirs, protect them from the tigers.